feel good. I, I feel, feel good. good. You feel, feel good? good? How you feel? I feel, I feel good. good. <laughs> Brian, how do you feel, Brian? I feel good. <laughs> I feel good. <laughs> What's up, baby? Welcome to another episode of Rated G with Gary G. Garcia and Brian Licata. I am your host, Gary G. Garcia, along with my brother in misinformation, Brian Licata. And today is a special day for me. In the house with me today, I got one of my best, 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 best friends ever, Mark the Rat, Mark Siwa. Siwa, a.k.a. Mark the Rat, man, the most lovable rat you're ever going to meet. <laughs> Uh, today's his birthday. Yesterday. Yesterday. Oh, all right. Well, it's a two day celebration. Why not, man? If yeah, the LGB can week, get him on. It's smaller, man. <laughs> Just the two day now? Yeah, it's two days now. All right. Well, also want to give a shout out to John Ovalis. It's his birthday uh, today as well. We celebrated that yesterday, but you know how that goes. Cool. Very nice. Very nice. So we're to, yeah, we're having some little, some Just, little, a little cocktail. Little cocktail. You usually Sorry. don't, you, you usually don't drink that much on the show, man. I usually don't drink at all, but I'm here with my man. Huh. Mark. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's a I celebration. I, I ain't had to twist his arm that much, though. <laughs> I'm easily swayed. That is, there's, there's not a person that doesn't know how easily yeah. swayed I am when it comes to anything. You know, um, it's yeah, good man. to have him here, man. See the smile on my face, how happy it is when my people come out to see me, man. I'm so fucking happy right now, man. It's good to see you too, Brian. So it's like bang, bang, bang. You're like, you're like my summer mark uh, when I go to summer camp. Okay. Okay. Nice. I'll take that. That's fine with me. That's, that's fine with me. You know, and then we both go back home to our, you know, to your sane asylums. Yeah. To our little, to our little place. So I want to know how the nickname came about. Can I, can I hear that I story? Know, it was, it was because I think that was Troy, but Troy I think, it, I think it came about because when we used to climb into places, he was always able to climb up and get into places. I would get away. Uh, yeah. Or get away. Get to, you know, he was hard to catch, like a rat. Very hard to catch. He was a slippery little dude. Well, this is the dude. He 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 stuck up for me the most he could without you know damaging his record. <laughs> when I used to get bullied back in the day. Yeah, and I I, I bring that up like when we first met again. Like yeah. After like uh -huh. ten years, uh, he brought that up. I, I barely have a visual of that. Yeah. You know? I mean, yeah, because he was always just I was like, like I think I'm, yeah, yeah. I think I'm creating the visual in my mind, but I don't it know. was always like he never jumped yeah. in the middle. He wasn't yeah, like that. Mike, he was move just a little cool with everyone. Yeah, Mike, move a little closer to the to the microphone. Yeah, yeah, there you Mark. go, Mark. Mark, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm saying Mike, Mark, Matt. You got you got forty inch slips going on over there. I'm so, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, but I'm actually I'm trying to pull something up in honor of your appearance on the episode. I actually saw <laughs> I I saw a video from. Uh, Instagram page today. <laughs> this is not a good rat. <laughs> this is not a good rat. I, I, I saw this literally right before the show. Here, hold on. Let me see if I can get some sound on here. I told you, Mama caught another body, right? Oh, really? God. Mama caught another mouse, yo. I heard a bug, and I was like, "What are you doing?" I saw her flipping this mouse around. She killed that shit and left it there, just uh, looking at it for yeah, me to pick it up. Yeah, well, I was, tell you what, if Mama is in New York, you better keep her inside. Oh, is this her? Oh, that's great. It's a fucking pigeon. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I kind of feel a little bad for the pigeon, man. <laughs> I do. I feel a little bad for the pigeon. You don't feel Ooh, bad for the pigeon? Not really. You prefer rats over that, pigeons? That's fucking nature is metal right there. Yes. Yeah, but like pigeons don't come into your house. They shit on your car. Fuck them. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, fuck I them. got a lot of rats in my neighborhood now. Never before. Now, they I come out in the morning, go to work. They cross Dude, my path, New York. buy my garbage can. I noticed that in New York too, man. You walk down the block, they just walk right in front of you. They don't even care anymore. No. Yeah. What do you? I because because I've been thinking about it too. I've been seeing tons of rat videos online yeah, now from the city. There, yeah. What's what's going on? What's going on up there? They're multiplying. Uh, I, you know what it is. So where I live, they live. You know, have that they have the outdoor dining these. Freaking oh, all that dining shit outside. They now. live under that shit. They come out from under there. Yeah, yeah. And I don't like rats. Man. Nah, man. They're so <laughs> yeah. I always say rats are unsettling. Yo, I throw my yeah. garbage from like the middle of the street to the garbage can. Yo, I'm not. Yo, when I go playing. to get when I go to get my dollar slices, I walk in the middle of the street. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't walk on the sidewalks, dude. They run out of everywhere, and I hate them yeah, fucking things, man. 
I know a guy brought his car to get fixed, and I have like the oil pan on the bottom. There's rat shit. It's full of rat shit because they oh. go in his car at night, and because it's Terry warm. McNeely had rats in his car. See, they were sleeping in there. They're making a little. Yeah, they were sleeping in there. That's because that motherfucker leaves food in there from every fucking like he he buys burgers and then forgets he left them under the seat. Uh, that's bad. So that's- they were living in his car, man. It, that's that's kind of, I mean, that's surprising to me because he, he he always is put together on the outside. Oh yeah, yeah. but his car is a fucking mess, dude. <laughs> his car is like his mind. Yeah, yeah. Cause I mean, your car is pretty clean. My car's okay. It's on the verge of I yeah, keep my shit a clean. mental collapse. It's right there. <laughs> it looks pretty clean. I thought it, I thought it was pretty clean. Yeah, I feel like G, you keep a clean car, don't you? Yeah, I keep yeah, he does. Things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, when it gets dirty, man, I'm yeah, pissed. I don't, I don't give a fuck. I got a battery in my back seat for like a year and a half. <laughs> what? A car, oh, a, car, a car battery? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was supposed to return it, but I never did. Uh, well, shit happens, man. Yeah, don't they? I live on your end, man. Uh, Any crazy report? No, man, nothing. I think nothing. they let that dude out, that Spanish bodega dude. Yeah, really? yeah, yeah, yeah. They let him no out. No charges. No charges. I mean, really, that's like, no kidding. It's fucking ridiculous that they locked him up. The dude comes behind the fucking register. You should have the yo. the right to stab the motherfucker, yo. Yeah. The girl, a, the lady that stabbed him also, the, the, the girlfriend. girlfriend, she 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 get no charges. She didn't get no charges? No. Well, I guess what they said was she what she did, you know, she had no control over what he was doing and she was defending him, I guess. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. That's a little weird. I think she should have got charged. I don't think she got charged. It's the, the dude who got killed's girlfriend, right? That's what you're talking about. Yeah. Her. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I mean, that's you would think she she would catch a charge. I mean, she was she was an accessory to a crime. An accessory, pretty much. Yeah. That's how I yeah. saw her. An, an accessory to attempted murder, actually. Right? Uh, well, the black dude wasn't really attempting to kill him. He didn't have a weapon. He was like beating yeah, but, him up. I thought he had, I thought he had, I thought he had a, I mean, it's a murder during the, an attempted robbery. If, if anything, that's a murder during an attempted robbery. Even if they didn't set out to kill him, that's still first yeah, degree murder. And everybody oh. involved in that robbery should go down. That's the way they do it. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, not anymore. Now, you know, now that they're letting criminals go. Yeah. Yeah. It's fucking getting crazy. Yo, it is crazy. So did you hear that they just changed? Uh, they voted. Well, they didn't change it. It went through a vote, and now it's got to get like a couple of more votes before it goes to uh, senior Biden. But uh, the definition of marriage. Definition of marriage. Hold on, yeah. hold on. Let me, let me pull it up. Yeah, they, they, uh, they're, they're changing the definition so that it's no longer between a man and a woman. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, honestly, bro. I mean, I'm yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool with that. That's good. You're right? cool with that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, gays, right? Gays, gay so, people get married, bro. That's I'm fine with that. So, so yeah, I'm yeah but they're, that, they're changing on the federal level. Yeah, that's cool. cool. All um, right. So, that, so then, what do you feel about the argument that's being made that that is well, actually the foundational thing on which our country is made on what? is is a uh, marriage because it's something that produces or is at least. Uh, set to produce more life and that's why it was supposedly the foundational thing on which on which uh, the country was established on i mean that's the argument that's being made those same people are going to produce i mean yeah you know what i'm saying it's just i mean i'll keep it real i don't i don't don't care either but those i'm I'm one of those people that say that it should be out that it should be out like the government shouldn't have anything to do with me and my my relationships you know but their argument is the foundation of all governments is built on on a marriage, that's the argument they make. Probably that. for tax purposes, also they probably get more money if they take that out. And just well, I mean, there's definitely in the definition. Yeah, I mean, I to be honest, I don't care about that, man. I mean, this argument is made that uh that marriage is already screwed up, but then you know, like the 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 right is saying that you know, yeah, the shit is screwed up. We need to work on repairing it, not destroying it which is what they claim that this now does yeah i mean i don't think it destroy i mean it doesn't destroy anything bro you know yeah i don't agree with that yeah, I, mean, I mean i don't agree with it you know the problem is i don't care i care so little yeah. about that yeah, yeah you know I don't, care. Who gets married? <laughs> I don't i mean it's a miserable thing 
So it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's like, so it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, what fucking idiots. Now that's like an argument. They, they never used to have that argument. Or I guess that was an argument. You sure? That was an argument they never used to have. Like, you know, I want to marry you. You can't get married. So get that out your head. <laughs> now it's like, when are you going to marry me? When are you going to marry me? Because now they can get married. That's funny. Pretty funny. That you did it to yourselves, man. Be careful what you wish for. Is you get married? You get married? You married? Yeah, yeah. Actually, actually, married. actually, actually, listen to this. That's a perfect segue. We've set the date. It's gonna be uh September 3rd, 2023, in Atlantic City. I'm hoping you do it on you September know. 11. Uh no. Uh, I'm hoping <laughs> I mean it'd probably, be, it'd probably be a discount though, right? They, they, they got a discount I that they date. Get, I wonder uh, if they do. Um I want you to headline, Jay. I would like you to headline, but you know, there's. You want me to give a speech? Well, there's just you know, there's one problem. You know, I'm not invited. <laughs> no, you're invited. That's not the problem. Good. What's the problem? You can't perform. Oh. But yo, here's here's what I want to do. I want to do uh, I want to do a bachelor party right in the city, okay? And I want to go to. Uh, I want to go to the cellar. I want to go to the pair, and then I want to go to maybe like one other club, and then get some food, smoke some cigars, and stuff like that. I feel like we should end the night at the pair. Mark, you're, you're more down. than welcome. You're more than welcome to join on this venture. I'm down, fun. but uh, I'm not the best man. <laughs> so what? You can't come. I'll come, but your brother has to set that shit up. Yeah, yeah. This is, uh... <laughs> I mean, I, I, I told you, I told you to make me the best man. I mean, I, I honestly, I think, I mean, I'm just gonna set it up. Like, wh- like, what is it? Yo, G. Uh, <laughs> so I need you to set up a night at the pair for me. <laughs> yeah, man. <clears throat> we can go buy a. Uh, yeah, we could do all that shit, man. I, I think I can get us in all the every place except the cellar. I don't know if they let me in the cellar. Yeah, I might, have to, I might have to try to pull some strings to get this cellar to happen. You know? I mean, I never tried. I think they do. I never mm-hmm. tried. I mean, the comedians know me there now. Right. Not all of them, but some of them. Some of them. Is that like the place to be? Yeah, somewhere? that's the spot. Yeah, it's a spot. Yeah, it's a spot. I've never been there before. <laughs> it's right up the block from uh from the pit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The yeah, line's yeah. always around the block. Is that I've been like compared to the store in uh, LA? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. actually, I think it's probably the biggest comedy club, to be honest. Right. Because, you know, the thing that makes that place dope, first of all, you need like three months in advance to get tickets. Wow. Right. <laughs> and you don't even know the lineup. You're just yeah, buying yeah. tickets with no lineup. Yeah. And uh, that's the coolest part, though, man. Well, you know, they're going to be good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's the thing. You know, whoever's there is going to be good. But, but you just don't know who is any given moment. Chris Rock might show up. Right, 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 that's right. what makes. The yeah, place. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, anybody, <laughs> anybody could show up. Anyone yeah. could show up. Yeah, Seinfeld and just drop in, do a fucking. But set, I mean, you know? it's not an every night thing. More than likely, you're gonna get not that to happen. It happens a lot. Okay. Like Louis C.K. will stop by. It happen, you'll see them walking through a lot. Right, right. But I mean, either way, you're gonna get a yeah. lot of good. Uh, and then they got the restaurant good, upstairs yeah. too. You know. Yeah. They got the, yeah, the restaurant. This one up there. Yeah, we're starting to uh, try to get more shows, too, out of the dispensary. We're going to start turning that into almost a full-blown. We're going to be doing open mics there. We're going to start popping off some Friday night shows. Very nice. So, very uh, nice. That's cool. This thing's going on, man. Yeah, that's 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 that sounds like fun, <laughs> man. I mean, I um, I can't. Well, I got to come up to a show. Uh, that would be awesome to see a show up there at the new spot. Um, yeah, man. What, uh, what, 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 have you been performing anywhere else recently? Doesn't seem Please. like it. Yeah, you just just. Uh, I, I'm huh? governors again. I'm getting ready to do governors again. I got a, uh, I got a couple of things popping up. I'm actually getting ready to do some sort of benefit for like autism or some shit. I don't know. I forget. Yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. So what about our boy? What about our boy Ricky Martin? Yeah. You heard man, about Ricky that, Martin? That was. Yeah, that I don't was... know. He said it's not true. What do you think? I mean. Does he? Have, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. He said it's not true. Well, I mean, there's not too many people that would say it's true. It's very like even R. Kelly said it wasn't true. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, wasn't he? Didn't it come out that all the people from Anudo were being like uh, molested? Is, oh, that, yeah, is that true? I mean, I'm watching. Uh, I can, I can look at a, a lot of different Anudos. But... Yeah, there's, they they kept, and they're saying that that's why they kept them young. <laughs> they kept outgrowing the dick. <laughs> <laughs> Supposedly, that's. 
that's what I heard. I mean, I'm, I'm watching the documentary, but I, <laughs> they're dragging. They're not getting to the good stuff. So it's like I'm getting bored. You know, it's all about how amazing they were. And the truth is, they were not. Well. You remember Man- I, Man- I, I Menudo. remember our Menudo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, Menudo was huge in our school. Yeah, all yeah. the girls are rocking buttons. Did you ever get a... Uh, I hate Menudo pin. Did you ever rock one? No. I rocked one. I rocked it. I hate Menudo. Yeah. So, so Roy Rosello, a former member of Menudo, revealed his intention to take Edgar Diaz to court in the U.S. The singer assures the manager and creator of the Puerto Rican group sexually abused him while he belonged to the ranks of the youth band in 83. Oh, this is old, yeah. though. This is from. Uh... Yeah, I mean, that's what I heard. I, I got to watch the third episode of it to see if that's what they bring up. But I heard that they were. Uh, oh, yo, check know. this out. This is a, a 1991 article. Several members of Menudo, the baby face singing idols of the 1980s, were sexually abused regularly. Yeah. Abused and re- yeah. regularly plied with alcohol and drugs by three men who made millions off them. The New York oh. Daily News reported. Well, they got paid off them because what they did was they were giving them a salary. Right. They were getting paid a salary. So they didn't make no right. money off the albums, no money off the clothes or, or any of the stuff they sold with their faces on it. They lunch were just, boxes. well, the first, yeah, lunch boxes. <laughs> the first group did. The first group had royalties. Oh, yeah. But then once they realized what they had, they started just putting them on salary. Yeah, yeah. So they were making like 5000 a week or something like that, which would seem like great. You sure. know, like, yeah, it sounds yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they worked them like all the dogs. Time. Yeah, like dogs. All the yeah. time, yo. Yeah. All the time. They were just constantly working them. They were saying that in today's standards, they would have never been able to have that band because they would have never been able to put the work in. You know what I'm saying? Like, in other words, they wouldn't have went as... Because he knew they only had a certain time yeah, to yeah. get the workout. So he got as much out of each one for those years that he could. But that's what I heard. They got abused. And that's the thing. If he was one of the ones who got abused, which I'm sure he did, he's one of the cutest ones in the band. Oh, Ricky. Ricky. <laughs> Ricky was one of the cutest ones, man. And I, I'm thinking in that band, that wasn't a good thing. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking that wasn't a good thing. I think in that band, you probably want so, to be a so, Xavier. So, 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 so. <laughs> you want to be the blonde kid that looked right, all right, fucked right. up. You know what I'm saying? The ugly one. So that's where that, that's where Ricky Martin got to start. Was in Menudo. Yeah, he was because Menudo. I only really know Menudo. him from Living La Vida Loca. That's that was the. Yeah, age no, he started I came in Menudo, and what's funny is he wasn't even one of the most talented ones. Oh, if yeah. you want to say they had talent, I mean, you know, they were all that. I just I couldn't get they couldn't dance they really couldn't sing but the chicks ate it up so I think I was just hating yeah it was just a hate thing. yeah it was a hate yeah. all the girls in our school were yes, into them yes. all of them were into them yo you couldn't get around it dog no, it was good. horrible and magazines you pens you know I I rocked he didn't rock one but I rocked the yeah. I hate Menudo pen yeah. I did I rocked one, <laughs> I didn't buy it I don't even know how I got right. it but I did rock it. He came in and uh, like noodle bring that up. Let's see what's going on with Ricky, man. We didn't even bring up the Is article. That no, nah, that was a uh, Charlie or one of them, man. I mean, <laughs> you know, man, I remember was... Xavier. I remember Charlie. Yeah, I, I remember uh, Ricky, Ricky Martin. Sounds like um, you were you were a big fan, bro. Sounds nah, like I wasn't. I just remember the pins the that they all liked. I really did. I thought they were corny as you fuck, man. But you already know they were they were tossing them out, dude. They had <clears> them dudes <throat> in those little skimpy, like not little, but like real tight shit. So this uh, is Ricky Martin. Ricky Martin appear in court. Mm-hmm. You want to read it? You want me to claimed, read it? All right. So Ricky Martin appeared in court to testify against his nephew who claimed the two had a sexual relationship. Sources with direct knowledge of the allegations say Martin will appear via Zoom, fucking Zoom court, before a judge in Puerto Rico on Thursday. The news comes after Martin denied the accusation that he and his 21-year-old nephew had a romantic or say, sexual relationship. I'm guessing it was when he was younger. Let's see. Unfortunately, the, the person right. who made this claim is struggling with deep mental health challenges. So they're saying he's, he's crazy. Right. Ricky Martin has, of course, never been or would never be involved in any kind of sexual or romantic relationship with his nephew. See? In fact, Singer <laughs> went on to call the claims disgusting and right. untrue. See? Uh, it says the idea is not only unique. I don't know, man. What do you think? I don't know. I, he looks ready. In- <laughs> ah, I'm terrible. I'm going to hell. He does, um, doesn't he? I mean, 
that's that's gonna be the image on our uh well listen i hope on, 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 on the thumbnail of the episode uh, i hope it's i hope he is crazy and that is not true I, I don't know. I mean, I hope. I mean, does, do I really lose anything if it is? No. But I mean, I don't want to see a Puerto Rican entertainer that I actually know who he right. is go down that way. I mean, will we ever look at living La Vida Loca the same? I mean, I just, you know, I think people she are going to start saying, saying the saying, great saying. hits like she bang. I mean, you know? it's gonna, people are going to start to question other Puerto Rican entertainers. I don't know. Are more people still coming out about R. Kelly? They gave him 30 fucking years, dude. Yeah, thirty yeah. years they gave. What did Jislaine get? Do we remember what she got? Uh, I think did she get thirty two? I think so. Yeah, I think she got thirty as well. No one's talking about no, it. No, not at all. They probably killed her already. You don't even know. Don't even know. Who would know? They really don't have to tell nobody. They could just leave her ass in jail. I don't think she's getting many visitors. Oh, 20 years. Twenty years. Wow, she got less. So how many? How much of that is she gonna do? Ten? <sighs> Probably she has to do like a third, I think, or something like that. Uh, I don't know. They let her out quick on good behavior, right? Well, she's gonna be in some like you know safe, protected, nice shit. place. You know, she'll be in like some white collar, white collar spot. You know, she's not gonna be in supermax on you know on the cell block. That's insanity, man. But big up to Ricky. I hope I hope he's an innocent dude. You know, I hope. I don't know. I just wouldn't be surprised. That's the thing. Nothing surprises me anymore. No, no, that doesn't you know? surprise me. Even if it happens. You remember when we used to talk about reptilians back in the day? Yeah. And yeah. we were like, get the fuck out of there. Now I'm like, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. Wouldn't be surprised. You know, like if you ever look, I, I talked about this so many times, man. You watch the CNN reporters or the MSN, they blink. They're so, they're so <laughs> I do watch them. Blinking. I do watch their eyes. Though. Yeah. I, I, I don't so, know if that's what it is, but I do watch people But they, blink. they blink like mad. I'm like, people don't blink that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I've never sat here and watched you blinking long. like mad. They sit there and they, they literally. Boy, I might go into a seizure if I blink. But that's what it looks like, man. And that's the thing. The thing is like now I'd be like, all right, they're, they're, they're reptilians. Still on. I don't know. You think it's a lying thing? It's a lying thing. Or it's brainwash? Like body, body, body language lying. You think it's lying, lying or brainwash? I think it could be brainwash. <laughs> just try to get try, they get to, triggered. Yeah, I'm trying to find. We got uh, so many videos of like politicians doing the stupid, like crazy, like that black chick, the one that always frowns. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the one that always frowns? That black chick. She was just on the TV the other day, and she's in the back. She's just like. Who's this? And she's not moving. <laughs> she's not even noticing anyone's near her, yo. Yeah, and then I saw some videos today of Biden trying to shake hands for people that yeah, weren't there. Invisible people. He, he did he's, that a few times. Yeah, he's like, that's the new thing that's that he's bad. shaking invisible hands, dude. You seen that? Yeah, dude, shot. It's, uh, I was saying, I think it's elder abuse at this point. That's a hard job, man, to be that age and doing that. Oh, is this the dude that the fly? Oh, oh, a reptilian oh. reporter. I, I, I thought it was reporter. Yeah, in the, the year of 1995, a reporter would cover a story about the passing away of a high school student. In the report before the camera an insect flew towards the mouth making the reporter and he lose his cool and express the annoyance with insults. But after a few seconds, it is possible to appreciate how he manages to extract his strange tongue in a very abnormal way like that of a reptile. Who tries to hide it covertly? No way! <laughs> no way! Nah, that's fake, dog. That's fucking fake, man. That's that fake. video is great, though. He's like, motherfucker, yeah, yeah. fucking stupid ass, fucking fly. Yeah. Reptilian at Olympics. The London oh, 2012 God. Olympics were in exciting but terrifying times. London and the UK used the Olympics as an excuse to step up. Their excuse the pun draconian surveillance tactics and improve their 1984 like security industrial complex. While people in the UK what? faced stricter surveillance in the name of the war on terror, went wrong. As while well we know that reptilians had infiltrated the Olympic Games, based on this clip evidence, nothing uh, happened. Oh, wait. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, that, that's enough. That's enough. That's all garbage. Yeah. <laughs> and it's fucked up that we go, that's garbage and we're talking about reptilians. Yeah, it's kind of like all garbage. That's a bad one. That's a bad one, dude. Yeah. That was a bad one. I, I expect more from you. Dude, I couldn't, 
I couldn't find any. You're not gonna find that. nothing on that stuff no more. Back in the day, YouTube used to show all that shit. Yeah, now you can you eyes, can find the eyes, the eyes back, flipping yeah. back. Fucking, you know, Hillary's the one that they say is the number one reptilian. Oh yeah, she's yeah. The head lizard. She's the head lizard. You know, but they also say she's a clone. I've heard that, but I don't. They show the videos of her like bugging <laughs> and, and falling she's and breaking. Out. Yeah, they say she's glitching. <laughs> they actually have whole videos of, like they say people glitching. <laughs> you know, what do you think about the thing birds? Birds real? Birds? birds. They say birds are cameras. Pigeons are cameras. No, no, that's not true. <laughs> It's so I, many, I have, I, so I have a shirt. I have a birds aren't real shirt. How about this? You know the movie ET? Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're saying that ET no, what is, movie actually is, that? A, is, is actually a Jedi. I don't know. They're saying he's tied to the Star Wars thing. He doesn't move though. ET? Yeah, he's kind of like he wobbles. wobbles. How do you, could he be a Jedi? Well, they're saying he shows the force. When he makes all those things float and puts together the phone. Right. And there's a scene when he's doing Halloween and Yoda walks by him oh, really? and he goes up to Yoda and goes home, home, home oh, and starts going toward Yoda. Right, right. Everybody takes it as a joke because right. he's an alien. Gotcha. So they go, oh, it's just another alien. Right. But they say, if you watch, I think it's the Phantom Menace or one of those episodes, you see in character. one of the ships an ET character. Uh, yes, yes. It's like an ET. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, so this ain't ET is actually from. <laughs> She's right on the screen, it. bro. But, uh, but don't, don't, come, 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 come. I love you, baby. I love you. Come here. Stay with me. I'll pet you like a gangster. <laughs> yeah, they're saying that ET is actually. Um, I got I caught up on this whole thing of like of, of shit with cartoons, like all the shit that's in cartoons. Oh, like they yeah. say, uh, they say a uh, Toy Story three has a lot of references to like uh, uh, the Jews getting killed by the Germans. <laughs> no, I didn't see yeah, they claim like you know. Uh, oh, they also claim that. Um, what? They claim that one of the one of the boys in that movie. Oh, hold on. Let's, let's, like, let's, uh, let's take let's take one at a time. Here we go. A vote of no confidence. In chance of Valorum's leadership. I couldn't get into these. There they are. Like, oh, there yeah. they go, right there. Yeah, I've seen that. I, I remember see the, seeing that. ETs. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah see the ETs? Look at that, man. You see them shits? Those ETs, dog. Looking yeah. just like ET. Look at them shits. Look at this one right here. Watch that one right there on the right. That's the one right there. Look at the one on the right. Look, that's ET, dog, look at his head. Yeah, man. So, yeah, I'm convinced. I think we found it here, man. I'm convinced. All right. That's enough copyright shit right there. I'm convinced um, that ET is actually a Jedi. Could be. I mean, look. They show him on Star Wars right there, all of them hanging out. Pretty interesting. Oh, so is it he's a Jedi or he's just from Star Wars? No, they're saying he's a Jedi hmm. because yeah. he was doing the Jedi shit. Yeah, he does know how to use the Force for sure, and he can heal yeah, they too, say he right? Shows does, him use does, the force when he, he makes the bike fly. Oh, yeah. they're saying that's the yeah, Force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, look at he, that. Doesn't he heal somebody too? In that he heals somebody too. Yeah. Yeah, like uh, yeah. Okay. Could be Jesus. Could be. You know, and Jedi the other also one was, starts uh, with J, just like Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, I always said that whole shit is like kind of like taken from the Bible, like it's the always. force. Yeah, like the force is like the spirit. Obi Wan is like Jesus. He dies. He gets risen again. Then his spirit goes into Luke. Like the Holy Spirit goes into. Okay. I mean, that's how I always looked at it. It's a take. You know what I'm saying? Like the whole thing of it. Yeah, I mean, it's like, all classic. You know, good, bad, evil. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah, classic, yeah. but it does have the thing where he literally gives up his life mm-hmm. because remember he puts down the sword and allows Darth Vader to you know. to give to give Luke the strength. <laughs> <laughs> Good, so, you know. Yeah, no. <laughs> and then I saw some other shit where they that say was... one of the, one of the Toy Story characters is actually Jigsaw from a. Uh, from uh 
What's that shit called? Remember Jigsaw? I heard it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> From Saw. Saw. So. Because they're saying the furnace in that movie is the same furnace you see in the Saw movie. I don't know. It's a bunch of shit like that. I was getting into it, though. But, uh, you know, I can get into all that shit. It's all stupid. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's all stupid. <laughs> how all this shit connects. But I'm, I'm convinced that E.T. is... A yeah, that could be. That, that, that's a little some Easter egg there. Uh... Yeah, that's what they call them, right? Easter eggs. Why do they call them Easter eggs, Brian? Do you uh, because they're hidden. they're hidden. Because they're oh. hidden. I just learned something new. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're a gamer. Yeah, but I never knew so, why they called them Easter eggs. And I also never, when it comes to games, I never fucked with that. Like, I didn't like the cheat codes and shit. Right, right, right. right the only right. shit that I would cheat on is getting, like, in uh, Grand Theft Auto, I get all the weapons. I make so, sure I have the weapons. So I use that code to get all the weapons. <laughs> and then I play the game out. <laughs> Instead of working up the money. Yeah, but that's, I mean, that's the best way to play Grand Theft Auto, right? Because that's all anybody, I mean, a lot of people do play the missions, but no, nah, I'm just trying to go have fun on that game. I finished the first three of them. Huh. Mm. I finished the first three of them. Then after that, it was like, it's, they just made them too much, too big. Who got the time? Worlds. Right. Yeah. It's yeah, like worlds. the world. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, which brings me to another thing. On HBO, they got this movie coming out about mm -hmm. um people living in the... In the nah, living in that what you call it world, virtual right? yeah. metaverse type oh, shit. Yeah. Well, well, there's there's and you're saying now you can find love, you could reinvent yourself, you could do this, you could do that, you be who you're not. It says you could be anybody you want to yeah, be. Man. You create the characters, and it's a movie coming out. I gotta check it out. I think it's, it might have just came out on HBO, and it's a all documentary. Yeah, well, well, yeah. listen, dude, it's 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 literally like this. You played The Sims before, right? Yes. So it's essentially going to be the Sims with goggles on that's interactive. Have you been in any of these metaverses? Nah, the only thing is uh, the porn. So you're the one who turned well, me that's, on to the porn shit, different. right? Uh, it's a metaverse. Like I've been on, uh, I've been on them because yeah. you need, like crypto wallet and you can log yeah. in. Interesting, man. It's interesting. Oh, he's very into the crypto, by the way. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah he's it's invested a in it. Yeah, good. I mean, it's the prices are low right now, so well, then it's a good time up. to buy. Yeah, yeah it's they're going a great up. Great time to buy. Yeah, yeah. I've been telling this dude for I don't know ever for a while since he started. He's been for telling me about that shit. Really? Yeah, and he's doing man. good. I just yeah, yeah. I'm no trader though. I'm a, I'll invest. Yeah, you know? yeah. That's what just, you got to do. Can't. You got to buy and hold. I do trade though, but it's fun. I like to lose. I lose money. You lose money when you trade? Uh, uh, yeah, last year I made some money. My daughter's doing pretty well on the yeah. stocks too, man. Well, I don't think unless she's shorting stocks right now, nothing's going up. Oh well, you know what I mean. If she's she got her money, if her good. money's out, she's doing good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, everything's all fucked up. Everything's right fucked up right now. All I watch is that like apocalyptic doom porn. You know what I mean? <laughs> Financial crisis. That's all I've been watching. Yeah, it looks yeah that's so all that's good. out, man. And there ain't no good news out there. What good news is? What good news? Um, what? me and uh, me and my boy John have been doing some good news on on, okay. on the street. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. Got, yeah. What do you got share. Cheer us share. up. Dude, Cheers, you wanna, let me yeah. get another drink. Cheer me up. Uh, I'm trying. I mean, the the coolest thing that I think well, we've good news. we've seen has been um, you know, people are having babies. There's been a lot of babies. Well, um, isn't isn't the birth rate? I think worldwide declining. Yes, we we, we this is the least. We were saying that the other day. The least there's, amount of people. There's born. not going to. So there's not going to. We be don't enough, have a real rebuild. The, the millennial uh, generation is not enough people in that generation to produce like the boomers produce. Yeah, yeah. To to refill spots yeah, that yeah, are going to yeah, be yeah. left out. That's why yeah, we, we were robots. talking about that the other day. That's why we need robots. All right, so. Birth rate. What else is good news? We we smacked that down. Birth rate. <laughs> we smacked that down. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, a lot of people. Are, a lot of people are drinking. There's a lot of drinking going on out there. A lot of people are drunk yeah, when we talk. Don't know when we talk to them. That is though, Brian. Not really good, Brian. Oh. It makes for good videos. Yeah, yeah. It makes for good videos. It does make for good videos. I'm thinking. I'm trying to think of something good that's actually well, going what's on that good, we be man? excited about. Well, did you see that? I like it that 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 James Webb telescope thing. That was interesting. We were talking about that, and I don't buy it. Fake, bro. He knows me. Yeah. He knows me. And then and then they said it got hit by a by a meteorite. It got hit by yeah. So it's a fucked meteorite. Up. Is it, is it fucked broke? up? 
Alleged, oh, allegedly, they don't the know. They don't allegedly, know. right? Uh, allegedly. See, I don't buy it, dude. No, but that's a true thing. There's so many small little objects moving like a freaking million miles an hour. Yeah, which, object. which which you would you think of? How are we ever gonna like you know if you if you if you have like yeah. space travel like is in the movies? Like, how are we gonna do that you with can't. the meteors? You can't, right? You have to have like a force field. Even just to get the Mars, like Lee Elon Musk wants to, there it's the same shit. We can get hit by like a something small, like a grain of salt, and pop a hole. Well, how do they do it in the Manilian Falcon? You know, they, they don't really, they, they don't really explain field. that. Yeah, force field. There's a force field. Yeah, yeah, force field. Yeah, you can't see it. Yeah, <laughs> you don't think? How come we don't have force field? We don't have force field. Yet. Well, oh, yeah. you 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 don't have a force field. You just have a bad energy about you. It's kind of like uh you remember pig pen? And it's just like the little dust that comes up the back. A bad aura. I got great energy, man. That's why my dog came out here it's to true. hang out for it's his birthday. With fucking mother. sweaty ass three and a half hours on a freaking New Three gym. and a half hours? Yeah, man. It, it was it was so uh, bad. Yeah, Only out of New York, though. Once I hit the highway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because once you get on, it's 80 miles an hour. Dude, I was doing it. Yeah, yeah, once yeah. I get on that fucking, whatchamacallit. My ass was this one. Yeah. Yeah, well. I mean, the bus, <laughs> the bus is, it's, it's usually if it's, if it's not bad, it's, it's all right. You know, no, I was sweating my ass in my car. Yeah. What do you think about the whole thing about BMW charging for you to turn on the heated seats? It's an extra charge. Oh, uh, what? Well, it's like a, you it's buy an it. It's an app. Yeah. You buy so it. They're going buy it. the app now. That's like Tesla. Every little thing you want is basically an app. It's small. But you have to buy it. In other words, you have okay. to buy the heated seats. Okay. Now to turn it on, you have to pay a monthly charge. Oh, that's stupid. That's weak, like a motherfucker. No, yo. So it's not your, your, yeah. See, listen. Um, you're you renting know, the heated seats. Yes. Yeah. When I was when I was working at the golf that's course, that's horrible, man. There were, I'm there not was, feeling that at all. There, there's also a lot of construction equipment that is coming out where you have to get a service technician to come out with their special computer reader to read the engine. Like you know how you can right. you can read a car engine. You know some it's cars are making it. Yes, exactly. I mean, in the U.S., we we technically have right to work laws on products like they can't build products that you can't repair yourself well App- apple apple does i know i need to know this ice cubes in there too sorry but yeah apple yeah. doesn't apple do that or yeah, was you, like no, some- you, yeah so you you can with apple the the deal with apple is they only have authorized resellers and authorized repair techs and during covid they pulled a lot of their uh, texts, they used it as a reason to, 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 so a lot of those Apple guys shut down because of COVID because Apple pulled the work from them and never gave it back to them. But you can work on their computers. There are tools. You it's can. Just, it's just not easy and they don't design them to be able to be worked on. Right. That's the and thing. I think you, you void warranty. Yeah. You void someone it. else touches it, right? Co- correct. Yeah. Probably. That's how they do that shit, man. Even my son just got the new fucking iPhone. No, he's new, a, new he's cord. A, yeah, I don't new know. cord. They give you the cord, but you got to buy the box. <laughs> what kind of shit is that? Uh, and I'm like, well, we got a box at home. He's like, no, it's a new box. A new, a new Which box. one is it? Is it a is, is it a USB C? Like the the oval one? I have no idea, dude. It's new for that phone. Right. It's Wrong. new. That's what they always fucking do. Them oh. bastards, man. They try to just milk every fucking no, they do. Yeah, they yeah, 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 they do. Definitely. Dude, I just paid a dollar seventy-five for a Kit Kat. Do you oh, think that's expensive? I, is that a, yeah? How much are Kit Kats down there? Or do they melt? I mean, do they have Kit Kats down there. Yeah, they. I mean, they 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 do melt. But man, yeah, probably like a dollar fifty, bro. Like a dollar fifty dollars. I mean, did you get the king size or was the regular Kit Kat? Oh, oh regular, size. regular, man. And then we had a Mandela, a Mandela uh, effect. So well, it was a dollar seventy five. I heard that price. I would. Yeah, I, w- I was going to say something, but it's the same place where they tried to make money off of me for using my card. Cheers. So. Well, I think it needs more luck. I'm off my game a little bit. He's getting older, man. No, I haven't mixed a drink in a minute. Man. Fifty-two years old. Oh now. yeah. <laughs> He's catching up. How am I older than you? Because you are. I you, never you, thought I was older than you. Well, I don't fuck, look old. Well, you fucking act it. I act old? Yeah. You hear that? Uh, when you sit down, I hear it every I time. Do, I do this. Uh, I do that too, and I'm only 30. It's no good, man. 
Uh, what do you this dude's mad healthy. Yeah, I'm not mad healthy, but I did. I worked out this morning. He he's taught me so much. He used to work me out to like the point where I was like dying. Remember that yeah, in the days? It was, it was fun. Oh, that was great, but I got bad wrist. Yeah, you got. Some I couldn't keep wrist, up with. Yeah, yeah man, my yeah. wrist are fucked up. What what uh what happened? Too much. Drumming I mean, nah, we doing, you know, like the past age, 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 yeah, age, age. basically age, yeah, basically. Yeah, I, I've been trying to get well, Gary well, to uh, go on hormone replacement therapy. He doesn't, he doesn't want to do it. I so think he should. let me tell you something. I've been looking at that since I'm like 40. <clears throat> I, I mean, you, you're in Florida. You could do it like this, no problem. It's yeah, a little it's very bit easy. of a pain in ass in New York, but yeah. that might be coming. And it doesn't need to be. <laughs> <laughs> he, he wants he's a big support he wants like he wants to do steroids yeah for, man no, yeah it's I, not steroids but trt is great i mean you gotta get a check first but yeah i mean you know i've been i i'm definitely going to do it at some point but i just you know i want to wait till i'm a little bit older i'm 30 now by the time but by the time you hit 35 and and up your testosterone <sighs> goes down yeah you know 35 well, still or it's still man. he should get on that uh, shit now man. well i i take right. i take I, I take probably like look at his arms he should, get, he should get on that shit now man yeah maybe he looks like a fucking you're tall back, though isn't he, he tall? like a background oh, actor tall? the pianist how tall are you right <laughs> <laughs> looks like he's like five nine his where'd you in the pianist <laughs> his stunt double christian bale or stunt double Where, where'd you the fucking pianist dude i think i remember you in that movie pianist the, the pianist 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 the pianist? P- pianist. How do you say it? Am I saying it wrong? The pianist. Pian- pianist. Pianist. <laughs> pianist. No way. That's not how you say it. <laughs> Damn, that was that's a Roman. That. that was a Roman Polanski movie, huh? I didn't. I didn't know that. Roman Polanski. He's a molester, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Allegedly, yeah. <laughs> uh, you didn't get. It. Did he? No, he was found guilty. Oh, was he? Yeah, he, he comes yeah, back. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure he's on the run. He's on the run. He moved. Yeah. I mean, he's on the run in like he's, he's yeah, on he's the run from no one. He's been in the same apartment or the house for like yeah. yeah. He's on the run from no one. No one's trying to get him. He's not like a Julian Assange or anything. Yeah. yeah. And what's crazy is that, like, you know, he can still put his movies out here though. He did a movie recently. No, nah, but I'm saying, even when he was on the run, I think oh. he released some movies out here. No. Yeah, I don't know. Probably. That's my time, brother. Yeah, well, probably. That, probably. That's, why do I even know about that? Because everybody knows. Uh, I mean, he was wasn't he involved in some way with the um uh the murders with Manson, like the Manson murders? No, no, he banged a thirteen year old. No, that's no, not no. But it, what, about the dude who didn't I think he like oh he like owned, was that, a dude, the, owned the house dude. that the girl who who died oh, there. Maybe. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. It's interesting. Mm. Look it up. That's what you're there for. Mm. This fucking guy, he's been slacking ever since he <laughs> fucking became full time with everybody. Nice part of the night. Yeah, he was arrested. Gotta get char- a- uh, arrested in charge. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here you go. Um, what the fuck? What do you find? Yeah, no. sure. Uh, it's slow. You still yeah, want that shit? Yeah, dude. Yeah, he he had the yeah, house with Sharon well, Tate, bro. That's not my yeah. doctor said this is great. Yeah, look, 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 look. In February 1969, Plansky and Tate began renting the home at uh, oh. 10,000 or was that 10,050 Yellow Drive? Oh, wait. Yeah, and wait, Plansky's the guy we're talking about. Yeah. Yes, he owned. The oh, house. so wait a minute. Yeah, he was married, he didn't just own the house, he was married, married to, to Sharon Tate. Tate. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, oh, so wait a minute. Plans she the one killed with his kid. That was yeah. she's pregnant. She was uh, pregnant with his kid. Okay, I didn't know. All that. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Did you ever see the movie uh Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? Yes. Yeah, Did you see that? Probably. Where it's like the Charles Manson, but they go to the wrong house instead they oh, show really? they go to yeah, yeah. They, they go to uh what's his name's house? Uh, uh Brad Pitt. Right? That movie? Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. They go to, oh, Brad Pitt. Yeah, you don't want to go to Brad Pitt's house. <laughs> Brad Pitt had a crazy pit bull. Uh, that was like, of course, mad train. This shit could like open up beer cans and shit. And, and then he, and he had, was the, like, he had the joint. Did he, didn't he smoke a, like an acid laced joint or something like that? Yeah, he was tripping when it all happened. And he, and yes. at first he thought it was all part of the trip. The dog? No, uh, uh, Brad. In the movie, they go to Brad Pitt's house next door to the Tate's house. <laughs> oh, gotcha. So they go to his house instead and he's tripping. 
So at first he's like looking at them and he's like, are you real? And the dude's like, I'm the devil. And I kind of, and then he like fucking destroys these people. <laughs> he destroys them. His dog goes right at one of their necks and shit. He fucks them up. They hit him with a fucking bazooka. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. yeah, they hit one of them with a bazooka. It was uh, and a flamethrower. There was a Tarantino movie. A flamethrower. That's what it was. A flamethrower. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He burnt one of them. It made me wish that that's how it went down. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know? It would not did it. It did not It did it, did it though. No. You ever have those visions of like, uh, like picturing yourself in like a, a situation, like something like that, like people running your crib or whatever, and then you do some crazy heroic shit. And like you just fuck people up in your mind, even though you know that shit would never yeah, happen. I probably like, do that too much. You do that to picture it because I'm all always, the training, I'm always all the training you're doing. You're wondering, like, yeah, yeah what okay, is this so, so what's going on? You picture yourself walking home with your lady and some dude jumping out of you like. Don't worry, baby. I got this. Ka, ka, ka. Yeah, so I'm on the train. I had to take the train. My car was making noise one day. So I hopped on the train to go to work. Four in the morning, five in the morning. Some dude sitting across from me on the sixth train going to the Bronx. He's got the orange vest on like your man did. That, that shot up the train. And he ain't going to work. And he's doing the karate moves. <laughs> and at first, I was like, oh, fellow martial artist. Hey. Fellow martial artist. And he's looking at me and he's doing it towards me. And I'm like, oh. Fuck. I got my coffee mug in my hand. So I, again, I'm going through the motion. Okay, I'm going to smack him in the head with this. Jump, <laughs> kick him in his chest. Yep. But I got my headphones on. He, But he's doing these kung fu moves, saying something. I don't know what he gets up, gets up, walks away. It was like, yo, tell him he's lucky. But I ain't taking the train no more, oh, man. I'm not doing <laughs> I don't need that stress at four in the morning going to work. I ain't finished my coffee. Yeah. I don't yeah. know why. On the train. I'm not. I'm not. I, what my boy got har- harassed uh, um, last week on, on the way to work, man. Come on, yo. Know, I, I, I don't see ever... It's like it's like the '80s again, where you can't go places. You but think so? That there. You really think so? You think so? Uh, yeah, it feels that way. It feels I mean, I would like assume when I was... your life, lifetime New York City, yeah, right? Raised in Queens. Absolutely. It feels right? like I'm still... 14 again. You know. Wow. Do you yeah, still live in yeah, Queens? Yeah, we grew up together, dog. Yeah, yeah, I figured that, but do you live yeah, in Queens now? He's still in Astoria. Yeah, okay. I'm in Astoria. Yeah, he's Damn. still in Astoria. It's really got that 80s yeah, feel to it, not. huh? It does, yo. Astoria's quiet, though. But yeah. I, I, I see it and hear it. Well, actually, Astoria got the first murder of the year on Broadway behind uh, that CVS associate over there. Yeah. First lady, first person of the year. I did not know that. Big up a story, man. <laughs> <laughs> Getting on the map. Well, it, it was on Broadway. So is, that, is that Long Island City? Is that a story? Uh, it's, it's the borderline between Long Island City and Astoria. Yeah, but it feels like that because out Corona, out of Queens is getting a little ill. People getting shot. Well, yeah, but my son's house, man, they shot somebody up during road rage who jumped Crazy, out. Crazy, man. That shot happens a dude up over pretty, road rage. That happens pretty frequently down here. It happens too much. People need to relax. Well, I mean, I shouldn't talk shit. Well, I, I work in the Bronx. It's he don't get road day. rage at all. You've never gotten road rage, right? Uh, of course I do. Yeah? Yeah. Not like you, though. I'm, I'm surprised. Not. I stay in my car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He knew me when I was the growing llama. When I was beginning to be a llama, right? I was always spitting on people, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, people, it's, I'm not lying. Honestly, spit on, honestly, he's man, a spit on. <laughs> spit on somebody is literally the most disrespectful thing you can do to him. He was spitting on people in the 80s when people are afraid of AIDS. And then he did it during COVID also. He carried it. You know what I'm saying? I did do it during COVID. He, no, nah, he just started coughing at people. <laughs> just coughing on people. It's crazy because during the COVID shit, when we had it like, we could only let 60 people in, I'd be on stage and I'm just a natural like spitter. I'd be <laughs> yeah. talking, I'd be seeing my spit flying all over the place. I'm like, oh, these people must hate me. Yeah, if I could see true. it, they could see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? In the front row, be careful. I spit a lot when I talk. <laughs> It's like the blue man group. Everybody's got to wear a raincoat. Let's <laughs> <laughs> get a bunch of ponchos and put them on. <laughs> I do. I, I spit a lot. I got juicy lips. You're I juicy. <laughs> <laughs> You're juicy. 
That's when that, my number one likes to smoke blunts with me. Because uh, they'd be like, why is it all wet? My man upstairs is like, yo, dog. Yeah, why is this blunt all I'm wet? I'm a wetter too, yeah. I can't help it, man. I don't know. And I'd be wiping my shits too. <laughs> I still... It's still he always way. looks like you got lip gloss on. I got, I got, I got, I got, him. I got him too, though, man. It, it happens, you know. You just yeah, you're a little shiny. What are you gonna do? It's a tide. It's greasy. <laughs> <laughs> just ate us up. This is the uh, this is the uh, African Sicilian part of the. Uh, the movie, you know? <laughs> We're touching a couple of nationalities today, man. We got Italian, French, right? French, French. Oh, Astoria, and, and Astoria, Astoria oh. is a big uh, French French uh, population. No, it Greek, you used to, right? It's mostly no, Greek. No still French. to this day, right? To this day, it's still not no. like when we were kids. Not like there's, when we were there's kids. pockets of Greeks. Yeah, definitely yeah. pockets of Greeks. Like when I moved out <laughs> to Astoria from Ravenswood, I was like the only like regular white guy on the block. I'm surrounded by Greeks. They moved but out. Greeks. Greeks. They live in Bayside now. Yeah, there's there's really not too many you know European immigrants like that coming in now though you know not, from those yeah. countries you know, you know like you know what when you were growing up were Greeks known for butt fucking remember when we were growing up that was like that was, that, yeah. was, that was that yeah. was their yeah. joke that's that that still was, the joke that's still the joke still. because I yeah. said the other day and they were like what and I'm like yeah isn't that like one of the things like that's yeah. like that's a joke. like stereotype type shit yeah, yeah because they were all doing that back in the day too you know the the wrestling it was always naked when they used to, to do the olympic well, wrestling. I, saw, I told you i had those that you remember those statues in my house right those fucking naked like greek statues i remember you had statues i don't remember what they were though. yeah man all like naked yeah, dudes wrestling yeah. i was like what the fuck <laughs> does your mother still have those good question we should get one and put them on the on the set of the show, bro. I would guess in a box somewhere. They gotta she be some. I can't There's see no... you getting rid of them. Yeah, but I can't see you displaying them anymore. No, I don't think they're out. No, no. no, no. So I think she might have them out. She might have thrown them out. I'll put them back here if we can find them. I'll put it. I'll put it right here. Great, that man. would be hysterical. They're big. That's fine. <laughs> the bigger the better, dude. I'll get. I'll put a new shelf in. Whatever I got to do. That's I'll what go. she said. Yeah. <laughs> That's what she oh, fucking shit. said. Fucking um. What else we got? What was going I on? just gonna say now? Mm. Oh, they were showing. Did you see that dude? The the head of like uh, the head of like um medical. What do they call it? Head of uh health. Surgeon general. The head of health. Health. Yeah, he's like he's like a transgender dude. And, uh, There's only two of them in the in Congress or whatever. Oh yeah, I don't in know. the government. So you shouldn't oh, be exactly. fine. I think I know what you're talking about. Recently, he said. Recently, he changed. He showed up in France to like some party oh. in France with another dude, the other transgender oh, dude, yeah. both of them looking like fucking Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh, wait, really? wait, wait, hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on a second. What, con- what, con- what, what country? Guy? Yeah, voted yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know if he's voted elected. in. He was elected. Elected or elected? Uh, elected by the. I mean, appointed. He was appointed. appointed. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah, you could find him, man. And he, he just did a thing about up uh, in. Transgendered. <laughs> and, I mean, he changed. yeah, but like, like he he hasn't Walk done. He hasn't man. done that. Nah, man, I don't give a shit. If I haven't got canceled yet, just yeah. say what you feel. Fuck it. There's no hate. No, um, there's no hate. But I just no, don't want to say. That. He didn't do anything to transgender. Oh. So he still looks like a. Basically, he showed up in drag. Oh. And supposedly, he teaches like kinky, like a t- a class on kinky and like colleges and shit like that. You got to be able to find this dude. Just yeah, well, put the there's dude. A bu- there's a bunch of them. So what, what you got to give me a specific. Nah, this dude is high up there. He deals with the health. The head of the health. The head of health. Board of health. <laughs> board of health. Head of health. <laughs> head, of head of health. He just recently spoke. Rachel Levine. Was he talking about kids? and Kids being shit? being yeah. able to get those. Those. Yes. Those. Be uh, affirmed. To be affirmed. Yes. And yeah, that's oh, him. That's him. That's him. Dr. Rachel Levine. That's oh, him. Oh, that's not the. <laughs> Person I saw. Yeah, that's Rachel Levine. Uh confirmation hearing. Yeah. So Assistant he's saying that children you know, of the health department. Department of Health. There you go. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there you go, man. He was confirmed 5248. Well, she Levine, who previously served as Pennsylvania Secretary openly, of Openly, first openly transgender federal official in the national nation's who's the first Latino to serve as health and oh it's Latin. All right. Damn. Big up. Uh, no, well, no, I'm no, guessing. No, 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 I'm guessing. No, no, no. He's she's not Latin. 
her boss. She, I was about to say, I mean, we come in all colors, but she looked a little white to me too. I ain't gonna yeah, lie. Her, so who's her, Latin? Uh, yeah. Her boss. The Latin her, her, her boss. Oh, her boss uh, is the first yeah. Latin. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, uh, well, the there's first... a thing she just spoke recently. You can probably find it. She just yeah, spoke I told recently else. on uh on the whole thing of like you know, putting puberty blockers to children and, right, that, right. and that, you know, you have to do it because it saves their lives and this and that. And I'm like, how does that save their fucking lives, yo? Yeah, I don't know. How does that save their lives? I don't get that. I like you that know? Matt, that Matt, um, what's Walsh. that guy's name? Walsh. Yeah. Matt Walsh, I like it, Walsh man. is his, his Santa Claus analogy, you know? If a four-year-old is a four-year-old. Oh, yeah. He says, he says, like, four years old, do they know? They know. He goes, but don't they also believe in Santa? Right. Yeah. And then she tried to get around it. She did. Yeah. It's so frustrating, man. And what's frustrating, though, is, like, we've, we've spoken about this. I actually sent you the video on that dude, Huey Huxley, that Huxley video. Alice Huxley, yeah. Dude, where he talks about, like, in order to take control one of the steps in doing that is you have to get the people to believe things that just don't make sense. Right. Like if you could get them to agree with you on things that, you know, like, you know, does it make sense? Then that's when, you know, so you can give them everything. Have you seen, I, 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 I have to be sure about it, but I get, I think his name is Gad Sad. Gad, Gad Sad. Yeah. Gad yeah. Sad. Gad so Sad. I, I'm not sure if it was him, but he was like saying the fort when Rome fell, you could see their artwork change from this warrior, masculine uh, type person yeah. in statues as the gender went like really gender neutral towards yeah. the end. Yeah. Towards the end and towards the fall of Rome. Not to mention that they fucked up all that money, too, like we're doing right now. Of course. But yeah. I've been kicking that for the longest about the whole feminization of men shit. And then you put me on the foods and shit. That's why I don't do soy no more. Yeah, no soy. <laughs> Plastics, too, man. Plastics. Yeah, he's you reheating he, and plastic. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to get on the glass. glass. You're supposed to. Yeah, sure. Yo, these these dudes I used to work with at the golf course, they were Im immigrants from Central America. They would have Tupperware, right? Multiple Tupperware containers in a double or triple plastic bag, tie it up and then just throw the whole thing in the microwave. Yeah, that's not good for your balls. <laughs> that's not good okay. for your test. I was like, as soon as okay. I started there, I was like, yo, listen, none of y'all can do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> like, I got a bunch of shit, bro. It was crazy. I like there's something wrong just putting all that shit in there at once. Probably anyway. don't heat, right? <laughs> you they probably don't heat, They didn't give a fuck, man. They were like, ah, whatever. <laughs> so it could be the fall. You've seen how's all artwork? Well, I mean, well, they listen. say, I mean, that's that's the thing. If you look at the artwork nowadays, you could put a fucking toilet up there and call it art. <sighs> yeah, it's but it's not the... It masculine feminine but i mean the masculine shit you already know it's like just it's look at it it's, it's attacked in commercials left yeah, and right yeah, yeah you know nowadays the guy's on the side of the road and the girl comes and changes his battery and, and changes his flat and all the commercials right right you know nowadays a man can't even make anything but a lego for breakfast <laughs> ego. an ego is it ego or lego you step on the lego ego. oh you step yeah, on a lego ego. you eat an ego okay yeah. right, i gotta remember that step on a lego eat an ego but I'm not to, afraid to learn things, Mark. You know that about me, man. You have to let go of my ego. Oh, that's ah, why I thought of let go. Right, okay. Right. That, that's why I nice, thought of it. Thank nice. you. I thought I was just it should be let go, get some egos, you know? I feel like that would have been better, you know? No, I don't like what you just, just said. Stalled everything, man. Yeah, I think you just fucked that up. <laughs> you was doing good for a second, Brian. No, no, the room. Right. <laughs> Great show. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> you gotta know the room man know the fucking room <laughs> but yeah like that i started seeing that and i realized shit was happening yeah and then like then they started with the schools where you know kids play fights That's slap box uh even Maybe. if they even if they go like this like oh, if, you, really? if you pretend to have a gun and shoot oh, yeah, the cops know. and robbers yeah, yeah. you get suspended anything that boys like to do will get you suspended in school um and then the movies yeah. You know, all the movies now, the dude, like you watch movies where like, it's like a, like a, I watched some corny ass, like alligator shit the other day. And of course the dude gets injured in the beginning and the woman has is to be the new, one to drag him around. It, it and it's like one of those B shits. I watched that shit. Uh, 
uh, what's it called? Um, the B channel. Nah, I, I do the Roku channel. Oh. And I download like a bunch of things, and it's a uh, Voodoo. Oh yeah, yeah. Definitely. Voodoo has like nothing but shitty movies. That's why I like. Voodoo. I like a good shitty movie. Yeah, Voodoo got all like I watched. Don't get don't fuck in the woods. Oh, yeah. It was like some lossless monster that That's like funny. he smelled the smell of sex, and he would kill them while they're having sex in the woods. You know. <laughs> And then they got all the after porn shit on there, like you know the documentaries of after porn, where they they do like uh, interviews on females who used to do porn. Yes, yes, and like yes, after yes. porn. Oh, and, what they and, do after porn? Yeah, and, and supposedly they all hate it. I mean, even the even the ones that you think like like it, they were just great actresses. Right. I used to think they were bad actresses, but it realizes I realize now that they're actually great actresses. They're just typecasted. The only thing they can really act at is pretending to like being fucked. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because like even the ones who you go, this one actually likes it. Like you're looking at it going, this one actually, like she actually likes just fucking. <laughs> and, she, and you know, Sounds like. You know. Well, no, I mean, even though because you see a lot to go, uh, 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 you're like, all right, whatever. But then there's some, like mm -hmm. you remember Tracy Lords back in the day I that know. she turned everyone into pedophiles in, yeah, in yeah, a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She turned everyone into a pedophile into a day because she lied about her age. Right. And she was the number one porn star. Number one. And then it came out that all those videos, she wasn't even 16. She was 15 going on 16. Yeah. And everybody was in possession of child porn. That's bad. Yeah, it did take me a while to get rid of mine, though. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It took me a while to get rid of mine. I watched them already. You know? I watched them already. She's one of the few that doesn't even regret it. Oh, you really? know, but apparently they all regret it when you watch after porn. But then you see the very end, they all go back to it. So it's like, I don't know. No, she was 16 and she's and not 18. You've seen the first one, right? Inside Tracy or something like that. How do I remember that? Uh, yeah, I don't it was called something like that. <laughs> I know that shit. It was called something like that. Uh, what was it? What was the first movie? Let's see how good I am. Uh, Raising Tracy. But we come from a time <laughs> we come from a time where you remembered the porn names because porn had names. Porn did have names. You yes. know, behind the green door. Yes. Debbie does Dallas. Yes. Debbie does Dallas two, three, four <laughs> to ten. Uh big black butts. Like there, right. there was there was names to it. Now there's no name. You no, see a scene and cool. you like it, you'll never Dude, find it. I can't I can't I can't just like look up the titles of those. It doesn't work like that because you know what comes up in Google? Well, the actual yeah, yeah. videos. Oh, we can't put that. But just in. just type in yeah. what was what was Tracy Lord's first porn movie? Do it in a question. Google's an amazing thing. Dude. Google a moviography. You know, a, a bibliography. Is that what they would call it? I don't know if they do that for movies. What is it? Bibliography books. Books. Oh, so it would not be of this earth. This. That's the first one. Yeah, no, I can't be right. This is 1988. Sounds. Like yeah, that's not right. That's the last one. 1988. Oh yeah, here's the list of recalled. <laughs> recalled. Yeah, there you go. That's that's the wow. one. Yeah. Wow. Uh, what was the first one? I think it was called Inside. If there's a movie there called Inside Amy, then that's the first one. Because I actually had the first one. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't see. <laughs> that I was I was debating on trying to sell it because I knew it was worth money, Oof. but I didn't. Yeah, you can't. I didn't. No, I did. I threw it out. Go, I want to throw it out. Yeah, I want to throw it out. I didn't. Oh, so was the thing about I didn't want to uh -oh. spread. I mean, she didn't seem to care, but I didn't want to spread that yeah, shit. No, you nice. know? But yeah, she turned everyone into pedophiles within a fucking unknowingly. day. Unknowingly. Mm -hmm. Unknowingly. You know? Mm -hmm. Unknowingly. But then even when people knew, I'm sure I'm not the oh, only shit. one took a while to get rid of them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I paid for that. Yeah, I'm saying I already watched it. <laughs> I already committed the crime. I already committed the crime, man. Yeah, they don't give you years for every time. I mean, in watch. my own defense, too, I was only like 17, 18 at that time. So it wasn't like I, I was fucking... 16. Yeah, I mean, I was uh, the adventures of Tracy Dick. You know, the educating Mandy dream. It's probably a, oh, educating Mandy. That's it, right there. That's a no, first. Well, this one. one's an eighty-four. Oh, okay. So no country. There's, there's a, I'm just gonna see if there's one for eighty-three. Because it's eighty-four and eighty-five were the ones that were called eighty-six. Damn, there were a lot. Damn, that's a lot of movies. Look at all those fucking and, and movies. Is, those are like full length. What gets me hot? That I think is her first one. What year is it? 84. I think that was her first one. 
We're 14. But look at we all those fucking movies in how many years? 16 at that time. Whore of the Worlds. Oh my God, oh, some of them are so great. Um, but hold on, can we just count that real quick, man? I just gotta. At one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Holy 12, shit! 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Yeah, man, that's a lot of fucking moves. 18, 19, 30. Oh, fuck, man. I fucked up. Yeah, I had it. It's like 50 movies there. <laughs> yeah, it's like more than 50, bro. How many years? Three years? Four years? 84 to 86. Three, like, two and a, oh. like two and a half. She started when she was like 15 and a and half. And that's just the ones they recalled. Oh, yeah. And that's just including the movies she was in. That's not including the scenes. Because in all her they movies. Scenes back then? Yeah, it was a movie. All right. So yeah, in yeah. all those movies, she was the lead person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She did at least three or four scenes in each one of those movies. What? From 16, 17, and oh my Lord. Oh my <laughs> Lord. Laddie, laddie, laddie. <laughs> that's a lot of dicks. That's only, and remember, that's the ones where it's just one dude. She took even more dicks. She has a lot of double shit, triple shit. Yo, man, that's a lot of danglings, dog. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of that 16 to 18 and that's just what's on tape right right yeah oh, true bro definitely that's just what she feel that that's a woman that did a lot of fucking yo wow at a very young age man by fucking 19 that shit must have been like a can of soup you could probably like fucking steal groceries in that shit <laughs> <laughs> But you know what? Big up to her because she wound up becoming an actual, you know, she went on to, uh, yeah, she went on to like um, marry with children and shit like that. She stood by the decision she fucking made, man. You know, she used a fake birth certificate. She made her money. Back then, y'all can say what you want, but back then they made more money. Nora Louise Kuzma. Kuzma. Yeah, Kuzma. Oh, that's a real name? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's very unattractive. (laughs) <laughs> that's a very unattractive name that's crazy good for her shout that's, out her i mean she went on to you know become a legitimate actress she did some stuff on a married with children she did yeah, yeah she was in yeah, she was on married with children a lot that's actually the thing that rebooted her back into oh, being really? able to yeah know. yeah and i also think married with children is like the beginning of the breakdown of family and society and that's one of the things that went against men and the respect of fathers. I always loved it and I still do to this day, but when you actually look at that show, that was actually one of the first shows where the father was the enemy of the family and he was stupid and every, you could never get nothing right and they and they dissed him. Cause even in, even in um, like say something like the Honeymooners right. where Ralph would constantly fail, he was still the man. You know, he had a woman that was against him, like she put him in his place. But then at the end of the day, she let him know he was the man. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't until Mary with Children came out, then it changed the way comedies and right. homes were okay. shown, families were shown. Now, all of a sudden, the fathers were getting dissed and it was no big thing. Interesting. You know, because if you look like Bill Cosby, you know, and all those uh, different strokes yeah, yeah, yeah. and all those shows, the father was respected. He was a respected member of that family. Then once that shit came out, now you look at all the shows that came out after that and still continue to come with shitty families. You got shit like, uh, what's that shit? Uh, Shit's Creek, which is a family that everyone yeah, yeah, thinks yeah. about themselves. You look at, um, what's that other one they got? Uh, there's a bunch of them. I mean, but it's it's they show what, what they did was there was they took the breakdown of family, which was going on, and they said, that's normal. Mm-hmm. Look at all the shows that all the families are fucked up. So if you're in a fucked up family, that's normal. They normalized it. Instead of saying this isn't normal, there is a there is a bar we should try to achieve, especially if you're in a family, in a relationship. You do want that to be a good flowing. You should want to achieve something of respect for each other mm-hmm. and, and like, you know, mutual love and respect for each other. Am I bugging? Right, you don't really no, want to yeah, be in a family course. where the kids disrespect you. You no, know, like no. how many times I want to throw my son out the fucking window, and it doesn't take a fucking lot to respect me. It doesn't take a lot, right? You know, just put your shit away. 
<laughs> just just like don't sweep the floor and leave the broom out. Right. And then when I say put the broom away, you're like, come on, I just swept the floor. But you just left a different mess. Like <laughs> all I'm asking for is respect, you know, and I right. and it's accepted, man. You look at family guy, you look at American Dad. You look at all those fucking cartoon ones, man. The fathers are just like yeah, Homer, Homer yeah. Simpson. Yeah, Simpsons. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. fathers, the fathers are idiots. Yeah. Since when did we become idiots? Since when were we not able to fucking uh change a tire? You know what I'm saying? Or figure shit out. You know, we did figure out how to like not be cold, right? And like fire and 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 fire and wheels, wheels. And heat and air conditioning. And a pack of something theorem. Yeah, and theorem. Pack of theorem. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, didn't we figure all that shit out? Now all of a sudden our kids are dummies. They can't figure it out. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. You know, you think you got it? Watch that movie, Last Man, or whatever it? that shit is on, on Hulu, man, where all the men die. All the men die. I couldn't get through it, dude. Because four days in, they couldn't handle themselves. And I'm like, wait a minute. So everything's already made. All you got to do is keep it going. And you can't keep the electric on. You can't. That's if you don't know how you can't. We would figure it out. I might figure it out. I might we would figure it out. out. We go to a fucking library and figure that shit out. Uh, yes. We yes. would figure it out. No, no, you're right. We'll go to a library. And get, you know what? The, we the, wouldn't have to figure it out that much. Because guess what? Well, really, One dude. <laughs> Where we know how to do it. We gotta keep that guy alive. Yeah, one, but in everything, in every city, there'd be at least one dude who knows how to rock that shit. Or at least one, one guy. To, at least one guy one would say he to, would know how to do it. There's always gonna be a dude who knows how to do this shit because right. we invented yeah. this shit. Right. Yep. At the end of the day, and I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm always it just to, all dudes left. No, it was all chicks left. Uh, they weren't even taking the bodies out of the street. And they're like, they're like, we need to get the bodies out of the street because they're gonna they're gonna fester That's and sick. infect people and there's gonna yeah. be disease. And they weren't even doing that. You know, they were still trying to figure out. I mean, it was just so dumb. Yeah. It was just so dumb. Yeah, it's and it's funny because I got you could, it's it's interesting, but by there's one dude that actually lives. Right. I saw, yeah. saw and then I there's a bunch of and this is funny because there's a bunch of dudes that live Poor guy. <laughs> why they live is because they're transgender. Now this is a movie that was made by a woman. That's why they lived because it only killed dudes. Right. So that movie in itself, which was written by a woman, is saying straight up that if there was a disease that killed all men, trans men would live. Why? Why? They're women. That's why. What the fuck are we talking about here, man? So when. The- so what? Yeah, yeah. So when <laughs> when that person dies and they dig their bones up, they'll say it was a woman. Ten years from then, they look at the bones. What are those bones going to be? Well, female. Female. That's why, dude. You know I love my trans community. Right. Mark knows. I was telling Mark about you know tranny on chick porn a long time ago. How yes, you how, did. yeah. <laughs> how I'd rather watch a, a trans woman <laughs> yes, you did. because to me this is a hot woman. You know right. what I'm saying? It's a hot woman. I'll call them women, trans women. But but you know, I mean, yes. if they dig you up, just like if they dig you up, they're gonna be like, this was a female. Yes, they'll know your height. Yes. They'll know you pretty much the approximate of your weight, what it should have been. They know what you died from. They'll know what you died from from the bones. I mean, so that the bones alone, don't change. No. No. Bones don't change. No. So for your that brain movie alone, could, your brain could, your brain could. You could totally feel a different way, but your bones don't change. Well, you know yeah. what gets me? Yeah, brains more it, like software, it, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's not, yeah. It's not hard, it's Absolutely. not hardware. It could be glitchy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Glitchy, you have a bug. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you need, a, you need and to the funny update thing it. Is, right? Yes, yes. You got to restart it every <laughs> now and again. Sometimes you need a piece of hardware. <laughs> I knew you motherfuckers going to hit it off, dude. I yeah. told you, he's my summer mark. He really <laughs> you do think the same, the Bitcoin shit. I said, you got to the, the, the fucking steroid shit, all that shit. I'm like, you got to talk to Mark, man. I'm here, yeah, mark. so the mark, TRT, you know, yeah, bro. I'm with you on that. Do, go for it. I miss seeing this motherfucker, dude. He's made my go day. For it. I've been smiling this whole podcast as much as I love Let's this. Let's cross my right hands here. under the table. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that. <laughs> hey, it's his birthday, Gary. Come on, man. Is yeah, that, is that why he gets- oh, that's what he likes to do. <laughs> I 
I said he's looking out for me. He just likes to do that. I got a new callus for you. I got a new callus. <laughs> 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 Oh my god, that is horrible. Is that like ribbed for her pleasure? <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. Oh man. Fucking gross. Oh, I just grossed shit. myself out, man. <sighs> Holy shit, yo. Oof. That is some good shit. Mm. That is some fucking good shit right there, yo. A tasty, um, that's a tasty cocktail. Yeah, what, what are you guys drinking over there? Cranberry, uh, cranberry so vodka. I put the cranberry, he wanted the sprite, so we mixed the cranberry and the sprite with the Tito's. That's See, that's why idea. dudes get along better, man. A little spritz, you know, I like a little spritz. Chicks would have argued drink. over that. Chicks would have argued over that. Now, nah, my sprite, no, I want this. We said, you know what, throw them both in that might taste good. Man. Might taste good. <laughs> you remember when we did that scotch tasting at your house? Uh, I don't know if that was a taste, that was an act of desperation. <laughs> yeah, we had, had like how many 11 like bottles, 11 yeah. bottles of like different scotches. Some of them were like mad expensive, some of them weren't. We just had mad, but we so killed. one day. We just decided, and I think each glass was like this. I think each glass was like this, right? We decided to taste every single one and do it like a taste test and come up with which one we thought was the best, which was the second from the most expensive one. I don't remember. But I, I do remember that we ran out of like mixes and it was oh, yeah, morning yeah, yeah. and mixed it with like powdered iced tea. And- <laughs> See, and- Mark, Mark was with me through my divorce. That was like right around when I was trying to drink myself to death. Yeah. And this this is a friend right here that says, oh, you're trying to drink yourself to you death. You don't do it that way. Do it this That's way. Like, Come over, man. Do I'll it. help. He said, you got to do it the right way. Come <laughs> over. I'll make us a steak. <laughs> And some food, and then we'll fucking drink. And then we liquor. drink, <laughs> and that's what we did, man. It was a good day, though. I remember I did leave that. No, I didn't leave that night. I passed on the couch. Yeah, there's no, there's no way you left that night, bro. And, uh, nah, dude, we were drinking like drinks like this big, like idiots. I remember when test. we did have a divorce party though at Ohio. Was that the divorce yeah. party? Yeah, yeah I think you? so. Yeah, yeah. When I moved, and then that's when you walked out to the cab or puking in the cab or something. That's that was your one. divorce party. Now, yeah, we had the divorce party. Been, been, Me and him no. was chilling. Oh, this dude's a gangster. Man. We <laughs> fucking, I did the biggest Irish goodbye ever. I can actually tell you what happened that day. <laughs> I remember now. We were drinking the whole time, sitting on stools, right? And I hadn't drank, got to remember, like, no. before I got divorced, I didn't drink for 20 years. No. I was just I didn't talk to him for weed. 20 years because you yeah. didn't drink. <laughs> We ran into each other at a, at a baseball game yeah, for our I kids. Saw it. Yeah, yeah, no, that, I saw really, it. yeah, yeah, and I, and I, yeah. And I was I was coaching a, t- a game, and then he came to my house that day, and then since then we've been you know back together again. Wow, you but really see, that's did. the difference, ladies. Ladies, this is what I tell this is what I tell chicks, man. You don't you don't have to work at real friendship. No. Real friendship, you know, like I've done shit that he thought I was a dick. I'm pretty sure there were moments we didn't speak for a little while. Okay. We went we went on, yeah, we never really argued, yeah. but we went like 20 years without speaking. When I saw him, I didn't say, yo, dude, how come you didn't call me in 20 years? <laughs> yeah, yo, dude, no, like, right? like, you've been living in, in Astoria still? You haven't come to look for me? What's up? No, nah. fuck that dude. Yeah, fuck that dude. No, <laughs> we literally just picked up yeah, where a- we left absolutely. off. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Only yeah. now we had kids. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we had the kids. Well, your Usually. kid, I had my kid. Your kid was born once I moved yeah, back yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we shared a house together with my man, Butch. Mm-hmm. And, uh. Didn't see each other for like 20 years. Yeah, maybe. maybe Not less, less, less than that, less than that. Because my son was like, 20 sounds sounds good. But it's more like 10, 15 years. And we ran into each other. And uh, we just picked up, right, where we left off. That's friendship, people. Friendship is, you know, you just pick up right where the fuck you leave off. I wasn't like, oh, you didn't call me, dude. I was thinking of calling you. Yeah, I didn't call you. Fuck you. Fuck that, too, man. You don't fuck. What the fuck is that? Yeah, yeah, that's that the away. fuck is that's that, man? So I don't that, know if that's wrong, but some no, that's, guys that's, do that that's, too. That's though. chick shit. But guys do that too. Some of them do. They, they feel butt hurt. You you don't call. But dudes, that no, we you wouldn't want. I with. really don't want you to call me and just be like, Yo, what hey, you doing? What are you doing? Uh, I mean, I call him every now and then to do that, but, that's but it'll be like five years. We put we put distance in between those calls. 
Two, th- you know, yeah. nothing going on. But, but nothing's going on. Nothing to talk about. I, I know if something big happens in his life. He's I did. I did. I did. I said I was going. Yeah. This yeah, dude's yeah. a fucking warrior. Can yeah, I share yeah, that? Yeah. You, might yeah, you could. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, my man's giving up a kidney for for his son. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, it's amazing. Feel. I'm sorry to hear that about your son. Oh, I could cry yeah, right now. Dude. Yeah, it sucks. And he's he's a, he's so gangster. He's like, I don't want to give my son mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could choose. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna give his to someone else. You put and it take in a, a pool. younger one. You put it in a for pool. Son. So if you if you uh, offer your kidney or a live donor, you kind of have a little leeway on what you do. So you put it in a pool. All right, give the kid a younger one. He don't need to have a. I got a lot of mileage. Years on years on yeah, I, wouldn't, I was gonna say I don't know if I want that kidney. Yeah. It's amazing we look no, this but, good, but man. honestly, really yo, is. they put me through like mad testing. This is healthy, man. Healthy. I'm yeah. surprised. I'm not. I'm no. not, dude. You eat good. He's like a fucking chef. No, That's no, not no. a chef. He eats fucking I good. good. Right? He okay. works out. I do. He stays away from all those fucking anti fucking testosterone sucking shit. Yes, yes, yes. You, you know, watch out. anything that's gonna suck your tea out, you don't. Well. But yeah, <laughs> unless, it's lips. unless it's actual lips, you, you don't see, want nothing Brian sucking gets, your tea like out. He gets me. Nah, dude, I knew Brian y'all was gets gonna, I knew y'all were going to hit what, it off. What, 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 I, I, I kept telling what you, you got to call me more. What food should we stay away from? What foods? You got well, stay, soy. Definitely soy, man. You got to eat more broccoli, more crucifer, cruciferous fr- vegetables. Cruciferous? Yeah. I did that. Uh, I didn't know what I did for a little while. I did... um. A carnival for like a month, nothing but meat. How'd you feel? Interesting. This is my Joe Rogan right here. Interesting. I, yeah. How'd you feel? Energy level is like flat. Not not a bad flat, but you don't have these up and down spikes. It's cool. Mm. I fast a lot. I like I didn't eat all yeah, day till I had. That. He doesn't yeah. do the shit I do. I fast two days a week at least, like forty eight hours. I feel like I do that also, but it's. I mean, Gary probably no, no. also does that now. Like uh, I, I, just eat, I eat yeah. what I could afford. So I, I tell you the story. You, you could probably look it up, right? You have the 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 old looking monkey and the fresh looking monkey. The old looking monkey, they let eat. It was an experiment. They they let the old looking monkey eat whatever it wanted, and the younger looking monkey, both the same age, calorie restricted. That's calorie restricted. I'm he, the younger monkey. He's the younger monkey. <laughs> It's still as funny as the first time we figured that shit out. You're the young monkey. I fucking love If you're on a calorie restriction and you and you and you fast, you actually you feel good. I actually I, I feel yeah, all dude, that's right a, yeah, that's it. It's I run I run I run, I run lean all the all the time. And people you know, <laughs> I feel tired, man. man. Your I feel, our bodies you don't need been it. living, running from animals and yeah, you don't in need the jungles. It. Yeah, we didn't eat all day long. We eat when we killed something every couple of days. You know what I mean? And That's how I'm gonna do it from now on. I'm only gonna eat. But no, what, what you I should kill. do. But well, hell, well. But if you're gonna eat something substantial, have a have a two three mile run before that, and then eat. How about a two three mile drive to get to the place? Okay, you could do that too. I've been. What I normally do is I will wake up like around two, and then I'll I'll like one two, so I'll eleven, anywhere between eleven and two. Yeah. Right. Um. Well, first of all, I don't use, really use the elevator no more. I usually use the steps, yeah, yeah. which I think I helps me a lot. Um, yeah, but your steps ain't that bad. Yours kind of go like this outward. Yours are like, oh, mine go up. Like step up. Yeah, yeah. mine go up. Yours go yeah. kind of outward, like those fancy yes. Greek shits that could step. <laughs> I got Greek you know? steps. He's got Greek. He lives in fucking Astoria. <laughs> um, but like, I'll go and I'll eat like a steak with mashed potatoes and, and corn for my first meal. That's not bad. And then throughout bad. the rest of the day, I'll eat whatever. I'll eat a sandwich maybe, or like I could give a take. I could go without There's a lot go- of people that eat once a day. And once a day, is, that's not a bad thing. I try I try to eat within a window. It's hard. It's hard when my day's off. Now, no do you problem. think because I'm also light and weight and stuff, I just also require less? No. Well, you also no. do you, less, well, too, well, so you need less output. <laughs> I'm yeah. saying I might need less. You get, you, of, need you get a lot of rest, you know. No, no, no. If you exert, it's 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 math, dude. You exert X amount of calories. You need to supplement with X amount of calories. It's fucking math. Yeah, you're doing less. That's what I said. You're doing less. That's why you need less. At the moment, it's math. Until math ain't math anymore. Enjoy no, two math, plus. That's the thing. Math will always be math, dude. Enjoy two plus two while you got it. <laughs> 
Enjoy two before plus two. Three. Before it's three, though. Because you know they're saying mathematics is racist now, too. <laughs> there's, there's an argument. <laughs> oh, I shit you not, dude. The- I shit you not, man. There's people making an argument that mathematics is racist. So enjoy two plus two while it's still four, because one day it's going to be whatever the fuck you want wow. it to be. Yeah, you're right. It's the truth, dude. You seen Idiocracy, wow. right? You seen I, that don't, movie. I don't know, man. I, I've he been hearing a lot about that. Because, dude, we're living in it. No, I don't. You have to. You have to yeah. I, we're I, fucking I, I living heard. in it. it. It's a movie that's, about that's how, a like. Judge gun, right? it's, a, it's like a comedy. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. a comedy. But it's like, come on, mama. It's like, um. Basically, what's going on now, the people who actually know shit, right. everyone considers them dumb. And the people who oh, ab- okay. agree that okay, men yeah, yeah. can I have babies, right. you know what I'm saying, yeah, yeah, are the yeah. ones who are considered, yeah, yeah. you know, gotcha. respected and shit. Right. And that's what's going on fucking now, dude. Me and Mark used to debate shit all the time. I, I think, and I don't know, because we haven't had deep, deep, deep conversations in a while. I think he's a little more on my side than it used to be. Uh, I think there's a lot of shit you used to think I was crazy about, and now you're like, well, he wasn't that crazy. there's a couple. There's a couple. Like chemtrails. That's crazy. No, dude. Still crazy. No, they came out and admitted that they were chemtrails, that they admitted that they were putting shit in the sky. Um, I didn't see that. Yeah, no, it's, it's admitted. It's admitted. Okay. Chemtrails is a real, it's okay. one of the things that was proven. Can, I'll check that. Yeah, you notice you don't see it as much anymore. I would I see. I, I see. You don't do. You used to see it. We here's yeah, the thing. I, I Did know. you see it when we were growing up in Ravenswood? I want to say yes. You, but you'd be lying to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be lying to himself because we never saw that shit. That shit didn't start being seen to like late nineties, yeah, yeah, two thousands. Yeah, really? I'm change the subject. I am going to change the subject. But remember, in Ravenswood, they used to burn the garbage, and we like stupid ass kids running around like catching. Flaming fucking garbage Flaming ass garbage like snowflakes ass. with your tongue out. <laughs> I live on the block of the sanitation, Tom. How I'm alive. I'm, I'm like a fucking medical Yo, fucking... It, Brian, it used to snow flaming ashes if the wind yep. blew right. Yep. And then once they stopped that, it wouldn't be odd. We'd be sitting there smoking a blunt and a truck comes by and just blows poison <laughs> Yo, on man. you and all the trees. Yeah. Right over you. <sighs> yeah. Poison. Yeah, poison. Right over us. Yeah. And I would lose it and people would be like, gee, why don't you relax? I'm like, they just poured. How, if that kills the bugs, how could that be good for right. us? It can't be good for this organism. Right? It's uh, not, yeah. dude. Yeah, it's not. It's not good. It's not. They do yeah. that in Florida. That's where it started. A lot of mosquitoes. Yeah, no. That's where I'm at, yeah. Do you, do you have to shit. get to the show tonight? Just to, uh, I know you guys have been drinking oh, a little shit. bit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Eight o'clock. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I, I, right. Yeah, I know you usually wrap I'm it up. On third, I'm on third. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure you're good. I just, I, I just wanted to let you know because I know you guys been drinking a little bit. I, I figured it might get away from you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, I should have let you blow it, dude. That would have been so funny. Oh uh, no, nah, dude, going. dude. Uh, when we first, and just in case anyone knows why I have this brother on here, other than just being like literally my brother and being with me through everything, through my divorce, through everything, that's when we did the taste test through my divorce. He said, "I know how to get you through this," Go. <laughs> and we did a taste test. He's also, I know, it's his first fucking grade, maybe yeah. even before that, and and he's also one of the original members of the Rust and Blues Rat Pack when we started Rated G, and we wasn't even doing comedy, no, we wasn't doing we were nothing. Just funny. I did comedy because of Rated G. We were doing yeah. the podcast. My man asked me to do it, and we all ran. This motherfucker came with me. He's been to my open mics when I was around a bunch of sucky ass comedians. I hate to bring him here to me. Um, <laughs> and uh, and, and through, been, the, through those uh, what, creek in the cave, that's yeah. set, thirty second set, thirty second set. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what the fuck is this? But but he was the one that used to say to me, G. Start putting the same shit together. I want to come here and see you saying the same ah, shit. Yeah. I want to see you working those yeah, shits yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. You know, like this dog yeah. always had my back. Always yeah. will, man. That's and I, laugh. I own my house. I he laugh. doesn't know it, even though he has money. But I'm still one day going. No. Yes. Yes. you know why not? You still gonna have to pay the taxes. Yeah. All right. You know. <laughs> Listen, everyone who's been fucking listening this long, man. I want to thank you for. Staying with us this long. I'm a little lit. 
I'm not gonna lie, man. I'm a little late. We've been chilling. It was a fun um, episode for me to watch you two get drunk. It was fun. It was really. <laughs> well, fun. you know what's so funny is this is actually like a taste of our old podcast. Yeah, because the old podcast. Drunk, no, we're not as drunk. Too. No, the old podcast was someone would bring a bottle of something. Someone, you know, and usually like Polo would try to get fancy. He'd bring like some expensive that, bottle. That and we would right. all drink that bottle. <laughs> and then everybody also had like at least an eighth or a quarter of weed. And we would all roll up everything. And that's it. We just by the end of the night, I was screaming on fucking uh, Rocky's wife. Remember that one? The Adrian. <laughs> where I was going hard on Adrian. That was like one of the worst ones. I think man. you've done that on this show once or twice, too. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 You've done that's that on this show. Different. Yeah, but I apologize. Did you? You apologize? Where I am. I apologize. I realized I was drunk and crazy, you know. Um, but I'm not gonna lie. I enjoy this, man. I'm, I'm yeah, just yeah. gonna enjoy the rest of this night, man. Big yeah, up, happy birthday! Fun. I wish you, I wish I was coming out with you guys. It seems like it's gonna be. I a wish you was tonight. here, dog. Yeah. Well, I wish I was in Florida. Man. Actually, I, yeah, we wish we were there. <laughs> you, close to the water? you want to jump like, in the car? <laughs> You want to jump in the car? Fuck it. Yeah, on my, my engine lights on. Nah, care. my car, man. Okay. Your car gets shitty gas, man. You should have stick. Oh, no, it's not a stick. It has stick options. I have paddles. Oh, so why would the fuck are you doing this? Because I went forward and went backward. You have to do that. <laughs> Listen, man. <laughs> Drive reverse. Listen, I'm I'm a little tasted, but when I'm not when I'm not getting tasted, I'm, not tasted, I'm usually smoking I bud. Newports. I smoke bud, <laughs> and when I smoke bud, <laughs> I get my bud at Apollo Bud in Astoria, Queens, New York. Only the best fuck weed that Astoria has to offer, located on Crescent Street and uh, Astoria Boulevard, right across the street from. What's that, that place? place with the that angels, place, the yeah. Apollo, Apollo Buds, man. Go check them out. They got the best bud in the story of Queens, man. If you're looking for bud, go see Apollo Buds. And if you're in a relationship, relationship. If you're uh, looking to just get knees deep, literally your whole knee in somebody, check out XXXPlayground.com and pick up a board game of Triple X Playground, created by none other than Spate Dog himself, the mind that created some of the brilliant music of Smoke and Suckers with Logic. He has taken that mind and created one of the craziest sexual board games you're ever gonna see. Roll the dice, your fist deep in at least two people. Check out <laughs> TripleXPlayground.com. And while you're doing that, it, maybe it hurts so much from that triple fist that you just took. Hey, you need something to help relax the muscles, relax the joints. Get yourself some what's good CBD. <laughs> CBD there you go. Hemp extract. We got gummies, vape pads, <laughs> oils, whatever you want, really. And it'll, it, it will really alleviate that deep, deep pain. You should actually, caused. actually do it in that order. Go to Apollo Buds, pick up some bud, then play the game, and then chill out on some CBD to help you go to sleep. And Forget about all the things you might you might feel like you shouldn't have done. But you could always blame it on the game. That's their logo, people. That's their motto. Blame it on the game. This has been another episode of Rated G. I want to thank my brother Mark for coming out, man. Made my whole fucking day. It was a stressful day. You can't tell by the smile on my face. Um, Brian, you can follow him Brian at uh, Brian, Brian the Video Guy. Video you can guy. follow me at Gary G. Garcia. You can follow Mark, but he doesn't want you to. That's what I'm saying, man. This, this dude's a... See, this is what I say when I say rock star is an attitude. He don't want to do shit but be who he is, and he's a rock star. You know? That's why I say I'd be a rock star even See? if I worked told at you. fucking... Uh, told you. Told you. I told you I was a rock star. <laughs> Guys, thanks for hanging out, man. I got to get to a show. I got to do a show right now. Yeah. It's going to be crazy. Peace.